All right. <laughs> Mr. BY15 saying he might cannon rush. <laughs> All right, here we go. Gonna go ahead and start up. Rolling into the next map. Following the, uh, the journey, Mr. Banyoshi. It's been very interesting so far. Yeah, absolutely. Um. <laughs> How's it feel? <laughs> it feels bad, I'm not gonna lie, man. Like, it hurts. Because you see it coming and you're just like, man, there's nothing I can do, is I'm there? A, I'm gonna have no choice. Yeah, I think, honestly, it's just about getting your gas income without getting it impeded. And then uh, either attacking Tinnitus or Swarmho, or just getting a bunch of Ravages. So starting off in the bottom right, he's cannon rushed every single game. BY15. Eventually we'll have fancy overlays to put on these. And in the top left. I cannot say his name correctly. <laughs> Aspidistra. Aspidistra. Thank you. So it's, it's a strange name. I actually I kinda wanna ask him what it means. Yeah, I'm I'm interested in figuring that out. Ken Rush is already beginning. <laughs> I wanna see if anyone can take the game off of it. Without 12 four. <laughs> I'm going to try one more time. If he makes it to the to the grand finals, I'm going to try one more time to play a quote-unquote standard opener and see if I can beat it. I know he has plenty of time, but with placing this this close would really be a good idea. I think he might break through and get the cannon. Yeah, he's going to be able to. And the patrol on the ground is really smart because you can't make any low ground pylons. I think he held this for now. Yeah, he did. There we go. There's one cannon down below, but there's no pylon to power it. Wait. Oh, he made it. <laughs> Dude, that yeah, pylon it. range is so far. It really is. Look at is. that gateway. It right? is. You know how back in the day when they... They nerfed the pylon range from six to five because people were cheesing in the uh, team games. Well, I think people found a way around that. Yeah. Because the pylon should not have been able to reach right there. But it's fine. It is what it is, I suppose. And there we go. I I think the answer to how to deal with him is just twelve four. Just twelve. You just got a twelve four. I just, guess you just got to know. You it's shut. You just shut it down before it happens. And it's weird because. Sometimes 12 fool doesn't even work because there's a version where you don't make the cannons anywhere near your opponent's base. You make it like quite a ways away so that they can't contest it really early. And then you, uh, you get your mortals and you win the game. <laughs> it's so, crazy just how powerful a cannon rush can be. It's so and then, dumb. And then when people download it though and say, you're just going to do this. Like, I've come to the conclusion... This is all you're going to do the entire way through. So I'm just going to 12 fool you. Yep. But but there's a still way you can beat 12 fool with it, and that's what I'm scared of. If if if, if he, he figures out that you can beat it. If BY <laughs> gets knocked out now, he's going to study and he's going to become stronger and he's going to learn that you could put You see where your camera is right now? You can make the cannons in that little corner right yep. there. And and it'll be out before the 12 fool gets there. I've seen that a few times now yeah. where they'll go like right here and set yep. up the contain there yep. and just inch in it's gross it's so gross but yeah it's it's awful man protoss Protoss is a stupid it, it, it's so cheesy oh <laughs> uh, and they're really broken in a in tvp right now absolutely i agree with that 100%. like that's a statistic fact <laughs> even though all the gsl terrans are just godlike um <laughs> It's I, like did you see did you see that when people were saying that uh they're like oh 
uh, Protoss is Imba in this matchup. Terran can't do anything, and then it showed the results, and it was just a bunch of Terrans winning. Yeah, but it's such BS. <laughs> it's because, like, like, yeah, but it's those players. Yeah, just because it's cause, just because those Terrans are godlike doesn't mean Terran's favorite. But holy crap, he just he bus. just says, "Screw this, I'm going in." That Bane, like, that Bane just said, one. "You know what? <laughs> I'm done with you. I'm just detonating." <laughs> on one probe, this might be it. Aspidistra. Defending the cheese better than I did. <laughs> Game one. Getting in there. Yeah, he just walked in and said, nah, man, this is mine. But see, this is the progression of a cannon rusher is that he's going to learn from this and he's going to exactly. grow and he's going to become another printf. I just want to know when he's going to realize he could just transition into Dark Templar. That's what I was worried about <laughs> because say, uh, one of the it's games. It's so common to just do yeah. that, just transition straight into Dark Templar. Yeah, one of the games I got a layer really quickly because that was the only way I knew I, I would I could potentially lose if, is if he got DTS. So. Speaking of the lair, it's on its way because he saw that Twilight Council. Yeah, so he's like, hmm. he's like, hmm, I think he might go for something. What could that cheesier be? than this cheese? Charge? No. Never. Glaives? No. Uh, <laughs> He is making an adept. <laughs> <laughs> the one base glaive adept timing at, at six minutes. <laughs> Roach speed on the way. And some Protoss players even expand behind their cannon rush. Which, that's what I'm surprised he doesn't do. So far, every game that I've watched now, he's not expanded. Yeah, the way he does it is very committed style that you have to win. He's very much an all-in. Yep. And now the only thing I'm worried about is if... Aspidistra overdrone somehow, and these adepts somehow get in and kill like 25 drones. I don't think that's gonna happen. But the roaches are on their way as well. Yeah, so I think he's, I think it'll be fine. He oh, it is the glaive adept timing. It, it is on the one six base. minute and 30 second glaive adept. Oh yeah. Uh. <laughs> I feel like I'm in bronze league here. <laughs> Basically, man. They're just gonna get in and say, nah, man, our slow attack speed's just gonna. Just, we're just gonna hit him. You know what? That, that's, that's all we gotta do. Little Rochi boy's gonna waddle. Oh, they're not even paying attention. They're like, no. You are nothing to us, Adept. I mean, uh, you Adept can't even does, attack. The Adept basically oh, heals Rochi, so. 22 supply to 76. Who do you think's ahead? I don't know. Let's find out. I mean, out. It, it, is, <laughs> it is Protoss supply, to be fair. True. I would not, you know, I wouldn't put it past the Blizzard balance team. Glaive adapt. Glaive is almost done. These wonderful little, uh... Oh, yeah. Thank you. He, he is following down this uh, warp prism. So he's like, you know what? I'm not going to let you get away that easily. But I have a bunch of roaches, so I'm going to uh, I'm gonna shut down any adept pressure you might do. And I would say I want to see him go for the Dark Templar, but I know there's an, uh, there's an Overseer. So that would just get shut down immediately now. That timing has long passed. War Prism is going in. The War Prism could do something. But there's a bunch of roaches in oh, links here. Oh, never mind. <laughs> wow, nice preparation. He, he is there. He has plenty of overlords in position. He knows what's coming. He knows there's three adepts that are going to get warped in, but they're going to walk in instead. Joke's on you. This isn't <laughs> a real warp prism drop. This, <laughs> this is the warp prism. These are mind games right here. Pure mind games. Look at all those ravagers, man. Oh, oh he's, he's going to have fun just... Rapid firing corrosive bile. Aspidistra has played very well this game. Say goodbye to that cannon. I would shoot that down. They did uh, nerf the shield battery health slightly. Was it health or shield? It's, that, um, that made it so um, you need one less bile to kill them. I believe it was the shield that was on. Yeah. Um, which helps a little bit, but honestly, like... It's still a really, Yeah, you don't really feel much of a difference when you're up against it. And I think this is going to be it for game one. Yeah, the, the Glaive Adepts are just kind of going in, ravaging, damage, but, but it's not enough. There's a whole yeah. Roach Ravager army just on top of his main. Yep. 
very, very well played by Aspedisha. I think figuring out the magic of the 12 four. And this is the unfortunate thing when you're uh Oh he killed his own ravager. <laughs> Did you see me kill my own queen? I did. Game one? We were like, no! I was queen. so I was like shaking because I was like, what am I gonna do? And so I like panicked and I biled my own queen. Yeah, we were like, I, I think he's flustered at I'm, this point. I was very flustered. Th this is this isn't good. He that just was, killed his own queen. Yeah, that was rough, man. <clears throat> I don't even know if I can go back and watch that game. <laughs> I might just like cry. So I think you can omit that one. Just watch the last two. Yeah, exactly. Just wallow in my own glory. You just be like, you know what? I did well here. I let him have the first game. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we'll say. Sure. So up next we have King's Cove. <sighs> this this wonderful, wonderful map. Which sucks because I loved Abyssal. Oh yeah. And then for some reason I just really don't like this version of it. I don't know what it is. It's like hardly it's a little different. It's very slightly. Yeah. He's ready for his cannon rush. He's not going to wait and just kind of well, think about it. I was going to say, I love how the three bases are configured on this map, but I don't think we're going to reach that stage of the game. Yeah, I don't think so either. So it's pretty I'm much I'm pretty sure we're staying two base. These prize are good, man. Oh, yeah, they are. But all right, here we go. Rolling into game number two. Will he go down 2-0 now that the secret has been found out? That is the question we ask today. Starting in the bottom right, once again, for some reason he's always the one we start on. It's Ban Yoshi, BY15. That's actually true, it always starts on him. I wonder why. I'm not sure. Wait, is he hosting? He's Maybe not. That's it. <laughs> we switched it, we sent it over to our side to host. That's weird. I don't know. But there anyway. It is. The 12 full. That was, that was a. No, that was a 12 gas. 11 pool. <laughs> I mean, hey. <laughs> that's earlier than, or that's less supply than the least supply that you can get a pool at. It's pretty crazy. Uh, this this should fare pretty well. He did it should. last time. But oh, maybe he's learning. Oh, he's doing what we. He's he adapting. heard us, dude. He's he heard us because the door is slightly open. Oh no, he's stream cheating, man. <laughs> he said, "You know what?" <laughs> I got it open in the background. I may have got that 30 second <laughs> delay, but they set it, and I'm gonna do it. Drones are gonna go ahead and be a little bit obnoxious. Goes ahead and pulls, t try to take out those. He's just kind of setting up, looking to see what the probe's gonna do. Cannon's going down right there. Canceled. All right. I want to say that he's in a good position, but at the same time, I understand that there is a lot going down right here. Does he see it? I don't even know if he's seen it. He has no idea. Oh my god. He has no idea. Wow. Oh, oh, he's going to see it now? Uh, he does see it. It's right there. He's like, yeah, I'm just going to walk away. I'm not going to go ahead and morph myself. Well... <laughs> The good part about this for Aspidistra is that there's no cannons on his high ground that can threaten his gas or anything like that. So he could take high ground and deny high ground vision and use spines and queens to attack the low ground. But it won't reach all the way to like the gateway. Zerglings are just kind of Oh, actually, three Zerglings get into the main. Uh, Even more Zerglings. Oh, and they deny that what Cybercore the is delayed. Is delay I There's only don't. five there. There's not six. I, I don't know what That's happened. So sad. I don't know what happened to number six. Did he? Did he fight oh. it? Did he? There's two oh, right no. here. What happened to him? What the heck? What's the? No, where is he? <laughs> I don't know where that one went. That's crazy. Now there's four. Yeah, wait. Yeah, one just died. There's one mysterious but zergling there's a somewhere. Missing zergling. Maybe he just left the game. Uh, I think he just F10 end. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so, fun fact about this map. Um, part of the reason I don't like it, uh, we have some time since they're just kind of trading back and forth. Not all too much is going on. Wow. But this expansion right here, you can actually get a Zergling stuck back here. Is that true? I don't know how, but I had three of them get stuck back there in the middle of a game. Maybe you, did I, you drop them there? I didn't. That's the problem. I was running by... And I think they just kind of morphed into the, like, right in between. 
because there's an opening right here. Hmm. So I was like super tilted after that happened because I was like, I don't understand why this just went down. That's really weird. All the probes, All the probes are, uh, are main arting away. Um, <laughs> Wait, he's making a nexus on the other side. It, oh my gosh, he's safe. misplaced though. It is extremely misplaced. Oh, and the giraffe. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in this game, honestly. I think Aspidistra wins, but... I'm the one Ling staying back going, don't worry, mate. I got I it. Got it. <laughs> Imagine being that Zerling to kill an entire nexus. I, I just think he, it's been figured out now. He's, yeah. he, we've realized what to do. We as a as a uh, as a swarm as have a realized hive mind, our yeah. hive mind has all come together and said, "Listen, he dies to this. Let's let's just do this." But right. GG's 2-0, Aspidistra, successfully taking down the cannon rushing guru. That is at least the local guru. Moves on to the uh, grand finals, right? Or is Cor there one more? Correct. He's moving on. So I, uh, you're up. I am. I guess I'm ZVZ up. ZVZ Grand Finals once yeah, again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That that was cool. I enjoyed watching, watching that go through. Um, I also always enjoy watching a uh, 